Hi everyone, it's Alyssa and welcome to You Can Learn Math. So this is a continuation of the previous video that I did on this, which was factoring, intro to factoring, link in the description below. Yes, right down there, right down there. And in it we covered things like, say, x squared plus 3x plus 2. Okay. And covered things with the different signs. So we had plus, minus, 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 plus, all those combinations. The common thread between all of them was that there's no coefficient in front of the x. It's just a, an invisible but understood positive 1. So that's the, the sort of introduction. That's the first level of factoring. So if that's what you're looking for, and if you're looking for how do I know you know, what do these combinations of signs mean when I'm trying to factor, you know, is mean, what means plus plus, what means minus minus plus minus, you know what I'm saying, like when you're doing the factoring. Um, okay, so all that is in part one description, link in the description below. Okay, for this one, we'll call this factoring part two with negatives, the sequel. We keep going. All right, so this one today is when we have a negative in front of the x squared. Okay, now if you were just to tackle this on your own, what you might look at is go, okay, well last time we did the x times x. Okay, this is going to be a negative x times x. Like, oh, okay, so then minus 36. All right, do I do a plus minus? Is the plus here? Is the minus here? Ah, but that's multiplying by negative. Okay. It's going to be difficult. It's not impossible, but it's going to be difficult. There is a very simple little magic trick you can do. It's going to make it so much easier. And if you've mastered the part in intro to factoring, then you'll master this in very, very short order because there's just one trick. And this is my trick. Ta-da! Magic! What that means is I'm taking a negative one out of everything. So that changes the signs. It makes it positive x squared minus 12x plus 36. That's it. It just changes all the signs. And now I have something that looks just like what I did in the previous, in the intro to factoring. Again, link down below. So in that previous one, the big sort of thing here, you gotta be very careful is, don't forget this negative one. Don't forget it. Uh, also, some teachers will just write it like this, just put a negative. I've seen that, but I'm going to leave a negative one there. I think it's less confusing that way. It does mean the same thing both ways. I think it's less confusing. Okay. So negative one times x squared minus 12x plus 36. All right, so now I'm just, remember, remember my negative one. I'm back to my sort of standard, if you will, factoring. And I go, okay, first I've got the x squared. What multiplies to that? x and x. Then I look at my signs. I have a plus 36 and a minus. So multiplies to a positive, adds to a negative. So I know that both of those are negative. Side note, if you would like a little more detail on this, I'm not going into detail here. Again, that's in the previous intro to factoring. I really went into depth about what the signs mean for the signs in the factoring and how to sort of the rules for that, if you will. Okay, so I got my two negatives and then I'm going to look at what multiplies to 36 but adds to negative 12. If you can see it right off, that's great. If you need to write everything down, that's fine too. So let's write everything down. Okay, so I know they're both negative. So what multiplies to 36? Negative one times negative 36. Negative two times negative 18. Negative three times negative 12. Negative four times negative nine and negative six times negative six. Okay, scoot that over. And now I'm going to add those. That adds to negative 37. Nope. That adds to negative 20. Nope. That adds to negative 15. Uh-uh. 
That adds to negative 13. Next, negative 12. There we go. Negative 6 plus negative 6 is negative 12. So it's x minus 6, x minus 6. And that's it. That is factored. I have seen from a student or two that they had a teacher that didn't like the negative one out there. It's very, very rare, but I have seen it. Um, if that happens, if you if your teacher wants you to do that, then you know do what she asks she or she asks you to. Just multiply it, distribute it to the first one there, not all of them, just the first one. Okay, because it's like you're multiplying. Let's say if you had negative one times five times ten. You don't multiply negative 1 times 5 and then negative 1 times 10. No, it's just negative 1 times 5, and that would be negative 5, and then negative 5 times 10. Okay, again, that's really rare. I've only seen it a couple times, but it has happened. So I just want to point that out if there's any students that that's what your teacher wants you to do. Okay, um, let's do another one of those just as, just as an example. Okay, so let's see. Um, how about this? Negative x squared minus 4x plus 21. Okay, same thing. Having this negative out front, eh, that's going to cause some difficulties. It's going to make it harder than it needs to be. And we don't need it to be harder than it needs to be, right? So I'm going to take a negative 1 out of everything. It has to come out of everything. That's very key. So negative 1. And what's left inside? x squared plus 4x minus 21. Okay? Negative 1 times x squared plus 4x minus 21. It just changes the sign of all three terms. All right, so now let's start factoring. Again, we don't want to forget our negative 1. Bring it through every single time. What multiplies to x squared? x and x. Okay? Now it's going to multiply to a negative 21, but to a positive 4. And these are both the same, so we know it's a plus and a minus. Again, if that's too fast or doesn't make sense, watch intro to factoring. So for negative 21, now we want something that multiplies to negative 21 and adds to 4. So I'm going to go over here. Because it's negative, I've got two sets. So I've got negative 1 and 21, or 1 and negative 21. And I have negative 3 and 7, or 3 and negative 7, because either one could be the negative. Now, if I add them together, negative 1 and 21 is a 20. 1 and negative 21 is a negative 20. Negative 3 and 7 is a 4. A, a 4. So x plus 7 and x minus 3. And it doesn't matter what order you write those in. And there we go. Negative 1 times x plus 7 times x minus 3. Okay, so again, it's just that one little magic trick. Just pull the negative out. And the same principle is going to apply uh, when we start doing things with a different coefficient in front of the x, something other than 1, <laughs> which that's a little scary when that first happens. But it's the same sort of thing. And also if it's a negative and then the number in front of the x. Okay, so that's pretty much it. It's just like the intro to factoring ones we were doing. Just you have to pull that negative out first to make it look like those. And then you're right back at what you were doing in that previous video. So, you know, there you go. Okay, um, that's really going to be it. It's not much more to say on that because that really is, it's just that one trick. That's the big trick. Okay, hope this was helpful. Hope you enjoyed that. And um, yeah, that's pretty. <laughs> Try to think of what to say. What do I say? I don't know. Here's what I'll say. If you liked this video, if it was helpful, please like, share, subscribe. Thank you so much. Hope you have a great day. Bye bye.